Friday, November 18th, Young Boy's label made a post on IG talking crazy about somebody, but didn't say a name. I pay attention to all that slick ass shit you be doing and saying. What I call a real rapper. We don't do music because I don't f with you. Stop speaking on me to these people. You my daddy artist. You a worker. You ain't my brother. F you pay me. This nigga, Young Boy, is so disrespectful. But look, after this guy said, it was like everybody was trying to figure out who he's talking to until No Cap responded. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not reading No Cap long as essay, but basically, it was him just saying how he never did Young Boy wrong and he was always saying free young boy at every time he was at a club a venue it don't matter he was like he always supported young boy he held it down while he was locked up and that's really what it said but before i keep talking the thing that's probably on your mind is why did young boy even make that post in the first place it was either a couple weeks ago recently i don't know the time frame but basically no cap was talking to somebody them niggas was like why you don't do music with young boy no cap was like because i don't want niggas to think young boy is the reason i'm on like he don't want people thinking young boy made his career and he was like me and young boy can do music later that's not what i'm focused on young boy ain't like how that sounds so like i said at the beginning of the video he got on ig the labels ig and posted what he posted but after no cap's last ig post he posted again i took the blame for why we don't do music because i was trying to keep your hater card clean but nah we really don't do music because he probably scared i'm gonna be bigger than him bro told atlantic he wanted money for the feature on mr crawford his album you never supported me you posted my shit once and i've been signing you for three years after this young boy started spazzing he went on a crazy rant and at first he was just talking about how he only wanted to feature money because he was trying to get revenge on a label and that he ain't never met a dime off anybody signing his label but something changed in the middle of them art this nigga young boy let everything go but before i talk about this next part i'm gonna need to get some context so kwando no cap and basically all the nba niggas supposed to be cool and close but y'all know what happened with kwando and king von if you don't know kwando Ronald homeboy went and killed King Von, which in turn put Young Boy and all his members in beef with Lil Durk in them. Before y'all niggas get in the comments and say something, Durk and Young Boy was already beefing, but that situation made their beef worse. So Young Boy made the post. You ran me because I was popping in the moment, and when shit hit the fan, you couldn't even take a picture with Quando. You a bitch, fuck you nigga. Let your mama love you. I go lie, this nigga Young Boy is so disrespectful. That's some shit you can't come back from. But the beef wasn't done there. You the same kid who had to clear that name when the internet made it seem like you dissing nigga. He out. Why the fuck? It even matter if the p he thought you was talking about. You only signed because of Quando and you ain't shit without me. Basically, at one point, No Cap said something and the people thought he was dissing Dirk. But No Cap not wanting no controversy, he cleared it. He was like, I'm not dissing Dirk. I don't got no problems with Dirk. I don't got no beef with Dirk. And right now, it's probably clicking in your head why Young Boy don't with No Cap. No Cap signed a Young Boy knowing all the problems Young Boy be in. And he knew being associated with Young Boy like this was going to put him in all the Young Boy beefs and problems. So for him to be under Young Boy wing and publicly state he don't have problems with one of young boy biggest enemies is gonna cause a problem like listen i can understand he don't want to have problems with people and just be peaceful but you also gotta understand it from young boy perspective what if you and your homeboy closest you start beefing with a nigga and your homeboy get on ig and tell the whole city he don't got no problems no beef he don't feel no kind of way toward the nigga you beefing with and that's supposed to be your homeboy now be honest you gonna feel some type of way and you gonna think of your homeboy as an op then to make the whole situation worse niggas found no cap old face where he was hating on young boy next nigga to say young boy go harder than kodak i'm slapping your mama down a nigga young boy had beef with i listen to young boy 24 7 this man is great can't even listen to the boy for 30 minutes but you signed to him today was young boy really wrong about saying he only signed because of kwando saying what you said and feeling how you felt and then still signing to the nigga like that shit wasn't gonna get discovered eventually is crazy but the situation don't even stop there this gotta be the craziest shit i ever heard a rapper say nigga young boy said fuck you 10 times with my herpes dick nah this nigga young boy crazy but ain't as crazy as the story from my last video on how the 14 year old drill rapper nadio summer got killed and they turned his killing into a tiktok trend